What's going on team? Draconia is here again and today we're doing another Power Ranger video. Today we're again going to be talking about Power Ranger Legacy Wars, but today's video is going to focus a lot more on strategy and how to build your team of rangers. So if that's the kind of thing you're into for this game, stay tuned because I'm making a whole list of videos for you guys. Check it out. Welcome to what is hopefully going to be a very long and in-depth series about how to build ranger teams for your league level. Currently I'm in League 4, there are 6 leagues to go through, uh, but I do want to qualify although I own the Green Ranger, it's because I bought him. This video series is not going to focus on spending money on the game. The series is meant to help you guys who want to play the game, who want to get far in the game, but who don't want to spend any real money. You guys just want to play the game and level up through earning your different loot boxes and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with a level 1 team. So if you'll notice around your first two, so Zero League and League 1, you're going to be able to unlock these six rangers here. You're going to have your new red ranger, new black ranger, new yellow ranger, classic pink ranger, classic red ranger, and black bison uh, wild force ranger. When you go to League 1, you're going to have access to Zeo Ranger 1, pink, new black ranger, bl classic blue ranger as leader characters. You're also going to have access to new pink ranger, bison ranger, and blue ranger. So the new blue ranger and Rita are going to be your two epics. Uh, much like Clash Royale, this game is very similar to Clash Royale in the loot box system. The purples are epics and you want them, they are very powerful. Legendaries are more powerful still, but you won't start earning legendaries for a while. Not this video, we'll talk about that later though. If you get one of these, if you manage to get Billy or if you manage to get Rita early on, you want to use them because they will be infinitely stronger than any other cards that you could have, including Tommy Oliver. Because if you pay for him, even if you buy him, he's still not as powerful as an epic because he is still only a rare. And even having him at level 2, I barely use him in League 4 because he's just not that strong compared to the other rangers I have. But this is a League 1 or League 0 team. So once you break out of the pit and you get into League 1, this is a very likely team that you can have. So one of the reasons you're going to like this team is because your Red Ranger has a very diverse kit. You have a long distance projectile that cannot be blocked, but it can be stepped through or under. So be careful about that. However, your Aerial Assault right here, your level your 4 power is actually going to be very useful because it's a multi-hit ability so if you do land it you're getting multi-hits that'll add up to that 133 but it actually stuns your opponent so it's good to combo into one of the others shoulder tackle is good to combo into roaring tiger good to combo into the reason you get the pink ranger she has a straight shot even if you don't have her upgraded very much this is just a good range attack although the second you can replace her please do because that move is very easily dodged your yellow ranger however she'll stay with you for a while if you want her to rushing daggers is very good for crossing the screen as well as laying out multi-hit damage it's very useful in a fight what would i change out the pink ranger with you ask very simple um, from the early on if you could get rita the reason you want rita is because of her soul steal it's a very quick move to do but it is very powerful and she has a lot of health which will give you a lot of health overall very useful to have if you don't have access to her use Gia please use Gia the reason you want Gia Morgan right here is for her hand cannon shot it isn't up close and personal but if you can bait someone into using a defend move this attack right here at point blank range does decent damage and sets you up for more combos with your other moves um, if you don't want your Red Ranger and you really want to get rid of him, you would do very well to use Catherine. She is very powerful because of her Fire Cloud. It's very low cost but high effect if you can bait out that move. And much like Jason having that multi-hit attack, Disc Spin is very good for not only getting across the screen, which is useful, but it is also a multi-hit move. Just be careful if someone blocks it, you're out of 5 and you're liable to get hit pretty hard. These other two combo very well into each other, um, and so for that purpose you can get a lot of power in. But you also like Catherine as well as we do like Danny. The reason we like Danny right here, Bison Charge. It's only three, but it crosses the screen, and if the, your opponent doesn't have a defense ready, they are going to definitely take damage and be set up for one of your other attacks. Axe Flurry being another really, really good one. Good multi-hit, good stun lock. 
so if you have access to all of this ideally you'd want blue ranger so with his kit he does have a blue which is almost indispensable especially early on if someone's about to hit you with a bunch of different yellows or a combo quickly hit that blue you're really good it's good to have more than one because while the defense costs nothing you only have one of them and if you used it and you missed it it's good to have a backup just to save yourself from some damage that you can avoid from some of these yellows but again bully beater it's a multi strike attack blast radius is also good just because it's a distance attack and too much power is always good again if someone baits if you can bait out someone's blue defense you can very easily attack them with that but ideally this would be something that you would run with or Danny right now I really like Catherine I'm going to show you very quickly why this team works really well together for a level one build three two so we're doing one, a versus AI match go. here and you can see from the start it's a good distance now he baited out so I'm kind of stunned I messed up I can block go right into Rita She'll lift him up off the ground, lets me set up for an attack. If that connected, big damage. So he's going to go in. I want to counter. Trini can rush him down, land in some more multi-hit damage. It's a, it's a consecutive thing, but it gives you room to be able to back up. And that's kind of the goal that you want to do. You don't want to get pushed into a corner. You don't want to get let yourself get pushed into a corner. I already know I baited out his blue, so I can kind of just like do a little bit more of what I'd want. But it gives you time to back up while you're waiting for some of your stuff to come in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, in a real match, you're going to be more active. You're going to be able to dodge more, move more. But that's the kind of ideal setup that you'd want. That's the synergy that you'd want from like a level one team. I didn't use Rita that much, but again, you generally want to have one or the other ready. And ideally, as you move on, you're going to be switching these guys out with other um, Rangers. But for a level one leader perspective, Catherine, really good. Danny, really good. If you could get him, Billy, ideal. And that's going to kind of do it for a level one. Come back next time where we talk about the ideal setups for what you want in a League 2 situation. So until next time, I've been your humble host, Dragonius, and I'll see you on the next episode of Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Toodles!